Palawan is one of the best summer place in the world. In this video, we will share our trip with Tour A package offered in El Nido. The airport in Palawan is at Puerto Princesa. From there, you need to ride the van and travel for 5 hours going to El Nido. You need to take this dark road. The government should take action in providing light hosts for safety of the locals and millions of tourists visiting the island. We booked our accommodation and tour package at Milan, Greece, located at Buena Suerte, El Nido, about 5 to 7 minutes walk to ferry terminal and town proper. The room is small but neat. They have rooftop where you can take your free breakfast while watching the boats and viewing the stone mountain beside the inn. The staffs are accommodating, especially the receptionist Cleo. Meeting place is at El Nido Ferry Terminal. You need to sign for environmental fee, rent snorkeling mask and goggles for 200 pesos, rent aqua shoes if you don't have any, only for 300 pesos. Aqua shoes is a must. You need to swim from the boat to lagoons where some parts are rocky. This will help prevent scratches from corals too. One thing you will notice about beaches in the Philippines is our cute and friendly dogs. Tour A is the best and most popular island hopping tour in El Nido. But sad to say, in updated tour packages of El Nido, small lagoon formerly at Tour A is now at Tour D. Tourist guides are shuffling the schedule of visiting an island to prevent the place to be crowded. All of the beaches have white sand and the water is clear. Our first stop is Seven Commando Beach. It is a very nice place to relax especially under the palm trees. You can see the relaxing view of the sea and other islands surrounding it. It is crowded that day but it's a beautiful place to swim and bond with your family and friends. Secret Lagoon Secret Lagoon is a great discovery. You will not be able to enter the lagoon if it's high tide because you will need to enter a small hole. Better to visit during summer or low tide to be able to pass through. You need to jump from the boat and swim up to Secret Lagoon because it's kinda rocky going to the lagoon so be sure to wear aqua shoes to avoid slipping and injuries. It was crowded that day as well. Water inside is not clear, maybe due to fishes and other creatures inside of it. But the beach outside is white sand and have clear water. The boat stopped at the middle of Secret Lagoon Beach and Shimizu Island with its snorkeling and coral watching. The water is deep so don't forget your life jacket if you're not a good swimmer. And of course, wear your goggles. We had our barbecue buffet lunch at the back of Shimizu Island. The island got its name from a Japanese diver Shimizu who died after diving its underwater cave. The chef served rice, smoked pork, fish, and chicken. Shrimp halabos and the Pinoy traditional sauce combination of garlic, onion, soy sauce, and vinegar or wine. For desserts, we have fresh fruits such as banana, melon, watermelon, and pineapple. It is nice to eat traditional food and healthy fruits while watching the movements of clouds, waves of the water in the sea, and air blowing from the trees. Our last stop is big lagoon you have the option to swim going inside the lagoon or rent a kayak for 300 pesos which is good for two persons big lagoon is like a swimming pool surrounded with nature rock mountains and trees the waves from the boat transferring to kayak is strong but while entering the lagoon the water becomes calm and relaxing there's a white sand at the middle which you can park your kayak and swim where the water is at approximately 4 to 5 feet deep. The secret feature of El Nido Packages Tour is the 4G data, which is available in each of the islands that we have been to. 
for other vloggers and social media addicts, you can have live video anywhere, even at the middle of the sea. Or you can call your loved ones from other places and share the experience of your tour. Lastly, you can contact anyone for emergency purposes. The town at night is like a rainbow because of different lights and because it consists of different nations around the world. All smiles on the faces of whoever we meet and bumped into. You can choose and buy different pasalubong, gifts, or your personal souvenirs. There's a barber shop where you can have a simple haircut for only 70 pesos or 150 if you like more complicated haircuts. We take our dinner at Jairus Grill. The ambience and view outside is stunning and spectacular. They cook the food fresh and they offer group meals with unlimited rice. You need to wait longer though, but take it as an advantage so you can have your selfies while watching the beautiful sunset beach. Tiring day will be wiped away by chilling on this rooftop bar and boutique. The atmosphere is calming. You can talk, listening to the never-ending and redundant stories of your family and friends while soothing the different kind of alcohol mixes that are only available in El Nido. And that wraps up our day. Thanks for watching!